Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Check. Check. One, two, three. Hello? Microphone. Check. Checkity check. Check. Check it. Check. Check. Checkity check. Check. I need to get another drink. I am out of drink. Another drink. Maybe I can convince Cleo to get me something yum yum. Something yummy. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. What is Reese saying here? I wish this to be a very enjoyable and entertaining experience, yet I will not have high expectations. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Reese? Why are you not going to have high expectations? Do you think so lowly of me? I'll try my best, Reese. I'll try my best to entertain you, even though that's not really what I'm here to do. <laughs> Uh, what I am here to do is to continue Alan Wake 2. Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. Welcome back. Happy start to the weekend. I am, of course, Fanable. Welcome to my stream. Welcome to my channel. Like I said, we are here to continue our playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I just... I just need to stop theorizing at, at all in this game. I don't know what to think anymore. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. I mean, we uh, definitely some uh, things of note from yesterday's stream. Some important beats. Uh, we had the... <sighs> we finally got back to Bright Falls, or at least we were heading on our way back to Bright Falls with Saga. And, um, well, I, well, first, we, we were finishing up Room 665 in the Dark Place with, with Alan Wake, and he had met, um, he had met Thomas Zane, but Zane looked like Alan, and then Zane, of course, uh, said, well, maybe you look like me, I don't know what to think about that, and then... Uh, at that point, I was a little confused, and, and Cynthia Weaver even confirmed it in her writings later on, that as far as we knew from Alan Wake 1, he was just a writer. If anything, like, a, kind of an amateur writer. She was calling him Tom the Poet. But in this, it's making him out to be uh, Tom Zane, Thomas Zane the Filmmaker. And yeah, he when he appeared to... Alan Wake in the dark place and in all of the like the photos we've seen of him with Barbara and otherwise he, he looks like Alan I'm not sure what to take from that um, yeah I, I know it, when we left off with Alan in the dark place after we finished uh, the Ocean View Hotel that we are needing to go back to the apartment again. I'm assuming that's what we're going to be doing today. We'll probably be jumping back to Alan Wake um, since we finished with Saga last night. But with Saga, rather than playing as Saga going into Return Chapter 4, on the way to Bright Falls, we ended up seeing Casey talking to Alan and talking about the fact that it seems like his books are echoing his life, which I don't know. I mean, Alan did say something about the fact that you can't really spring something entirely out of nothing, which says to me that Alex Wake... Sorry, I am keep calling him Alex Wake. Alex Casey. Alex Casey had to have existed to some capacity. So... I don't know, but it, as far as we know, Alan Wake was writing the books before he ever got to the lake. So, I mean, how does that work, right? I don't know if that's ever going to be explained. But yeah, the fact that the fact that he looks the way that Alan imagined, and then Alex Casey is even saying, like, your books seem to be echoing things that happened from my life something's not right with that it doesn't it doesn't make sense even more so if you can't just conjure com nothing you have to actually almost use real world people and references that already exist to make your work either alter reality or for it to happen at all to begin with possibly i don't know it does beg the question 
on on the darkness if that's just an underlying entity that exists and it's maybe the darkness that's even been providing the means to conjure stuff up to begin with which is possible probable with all the other weird things happening in this universe and everything but uh, the cult was coming th- coming through to take down presumably Alan Wake Casey fends them off and we don't know what happened to him he might have died considering you know we saw him run off to fight them and then we saw a recording later on but who knows what's real and what's not at this point but what we do know is that we played Alan Wake in that chapter rather than Saga and any theory that maybe he might be scratch playing stupid I feel like it's hard to pin that on him when we were actually playing as him, and as far as we know, he was trying to get to and help Alex Casey. And and then by the end of it, it was clear that the the cultists were were wanting to get after. We saw Ilmo, um, Ilmo jumping on to Alan Wake's looked like trying to possibly kill him. Now. I have long been speculating the fact that the cultists, it seems like they possibly were doing something maybe even meaningful. Maybe they know something that we don't know yet to fend off the darkness because we know that they started sacrificing people that started coming out of the lake. And part of the ritual was using the clicker, putting it in their chest just like Alan did to defeat Barbara Jagger in Alan Wake 1. And that when they got interrupted doing their ritual, they didn't get to finish it. They didn't get to finish using the clicker on the Nightingale. And that is what led to him coming back as a Taken, uh, coming back from the dead. And that was the one common, that was the one thing that was off. Because Saga had said, like, why was it only Nightingale that came back? Uh, well, apparently the reason why Nightingale came back, presumably, is that the cultists didn't get to finish their ritual, putting their, putting the clicker in the chest. Oni! Welcome back, Oni! Happy Friday! Uh, but, um, yeah, so there's that tidbit. And then Ilmo was was trying to either capture or kill Alan Wake. And he, Saga, you know, yells out to him. And he yells back at Saga saying, you don't understand. So that's making me think that, you know, obviously it seems like the cultists are bad. But maybe they're not all bad. Maybe they weren't. Maybe they're trying to stop something from happening with the darkness. And then, unfortunately, some of the cultists have been getting taken. I've wondered forever, because it doesn't doesn't make sense to me that the taken can be organized. So I'm assuming the cultists are not taken, but then maybe even through the interruptions or something that happened when their ritual got interrupted, they've been taken over again. Or just been taken completely. Ammo didn't seem taken. We've seen cultists where they're not seeming taken. But then obviously some of them have started to become taken. Uh, and then apart from that, a lot of more stuff that we learned with Saga. She she was using her intuition, which she had thought was just, I think, normal detective work in her mind. And she, it finally came out that that's clearly not the case. She's obviously got some kind of paranormal ability going on. And she actually was profiling Odin. Odin was able to actually communicate directly with her in her mind place um, with with the profiling and so we had sequences where she's talking to odin and odin directly helping her find things long story short uh tor got tricked by cynthia weaver who has now become a taken as well into the overlap we had to pass into the overlap uh killing cynthia weaver and rescuing tor so that's where kind of where we left off we we pulled tor back out of the overlap Uh, We defeated Cynthia Weaver, who is probably the scariest Taken we've come across so far. A lot of intense sequences throughout the nursing home from yesterday's stream. Really scary. We didn't end up getting into a a ton of fights 
at the nursery at the at the nursing home but man was it intense the sound design and putting you on the edge you don't know if or when something's coming out good stuff good stuff at least as far as atmosphere and mood setting goes but yeah that's where we left off defeating her so i again i'm assuming it's going to follow the last two times we've gone to the overlap now that we've defeated um one of the taken in the overlap i'm assuming the area that's been flooded in certain areas that's going to be you know receded and we will probably be going and exploring the now unflooded areas with saga before we move back over to alan that's what i'm assuming anyways pretty good guess considering that's happened twice now already but yeah so many things to wonder i i don't know anymore um Saga talked to Alan at the end, as they do at the end. Of, at, at the end of each major chapter, we've had Alan talking to Saga, Saga talking to Alan through this kind of interconnection that they've had between the dark place and, and reality. And she's postulating that all the stuff that we've been talking and all the things that she's been having conversations with Alan through the dark place, maybe that's just been happening in the past, which is entirely possible, I guess. I was speculating that it could be Scratch or somebody else tricking us in the real world with Alan, but who knows? Maybe she's right. Maybe maybe we're just hearing and seeing visions of Alan in the dark place in some off-time realm. Maybe these are all communications he's had with her while he's been stuck there. That would have to mean that I, I'm assuming he would have forgotten it, though, when he showed up on the beach, if that's the case. But like I said, I don't know anymore. This 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 universe that Remini has built, they can literally take it any direction they want. So it's, it's definitely hard to theorize and speculate on a lot of this as interesting as it is. And as much as I, I like to, it's hard to say, I have really no idea what's going on. Anybody's guess at this point. Well, for like me and Cleo, people who've already played it, they know what's going on. <laughs> assuming i mean who knows though i don't know last game ended on a big old cliffhanger and this game could too so we'll have to see we'll have to see all right well that's enough recapping and and uh recapping on the last episode we're gonna jump right back in here like i said i'm assuming we're gonna jump right back in with um saga we gotta talk to tor now that he's been pulled back out and then we're probably gonna explore the bright falls area before moving on to Alan. And again, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, happy Friday. I hope the start of all your weekends are going very, very well. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you have not yet already. I very, very much appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, share all of the good things. Let's get started. Let's go. So yeah, we this is this is where the overlap was, was in the pond, and we came out and Tor is looking understandably exhausted from the event. But yeah, we need to talk to him. At least the sun's coming out now. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain, but not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? We're just going to profile him at this point rather than just talking to him. Why do we have to talk in our head? No, that's silly. It's not even night anymore. The sun's out. We'll just do the mind place first. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You 
can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind plays is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While well, everyone else forgot? See, I don't know how smart she's being in that regard. She's still not postulating that she may be just have forgotten something, or... I mean, Alan has said you can't bring the dead to life without consequences, so I can't feel like it can't be that. Or if it is, then there could be some bad consequences as a result. But <laughs> I like the idea that she has a mind place and her intuition, which has been able to lead her to answers by profiling people, and she just has assumed she's just a very good detective. That's how that works. Because, <laughs> yeah, we've been, we speculated from, like, basically the very beginning that, no, she's definitely some kind of paranormal, paranatural person. With how easily she can come up with answers just from profiling people. But this is interesting, though, too, though, because the Andersons, um, they were writing music around the lake area since the first Alan Wake game. And, you know, so they had the same situation where they, their creative medium, their, their art, in this case, their music, was bringing stuff to be. But this is taking it to another level. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. We haven't learned about who her father is yet, though, right? That's been a mystery, because she keeps talking about <clears throat> driving the man out of her life and stuff like that, and that's how the family got disconnected. Kadadrin, hello, happy Friday. We'll see. We have a my father section, but let's let's keep doing them in order. I don't know what actually what the order is. We've just been going left to right. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. <laughs> so even earlier on, her mom's just like, you and your silly imagination. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan.
with David. I won't stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app? Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. Is that I what he means? When he's saying Tom? Alright. Well, here I always thought we were taking a different direction. I mean, I'm still not clear on the whole Tom thing looking like Alan. Look at all this stuff. Because Rake, Wake wrote the story, only Wake can edit it. We'll, we'll assume that's definitely what's happening then. Let's see. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Clicker acts like an amplifier. It can magnify the reality changing effects of art. Hold on a second. Okay. So Wake writes a story, the dark place makes it change reality. Clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense. Yes, it makes total sense. If you tell if I was in this universe and you told me any of this, I would just I would always just be nodding and smiling. All right. Cuz this is basically like learning a new way of life. <laughs> You're just going to have to take everybody's word for it. Sure, that makes perfect sense. The Anderson family is immune to the effects of the story because of hereditary power. If that's the conclusion she's coming to, then she shouldn't be she should still be pondering the death of her child because they all think that she died, right? I don't think Odin or had Tor have disp uh, disputed that, have they? That the her child died or not? I don't remember. I don't remember now. Uh, Here's your family is immune to the effects. The story doesn't affect me like it does other people. Because yeah, that's confusing then. But then again, I don't, I don't remember. Because if that's true, then it, it's, it's implying that Saga's can't memory can't change, but that everybody else's memory has changed. So did. Odin and Tor not talk to her about her daughter? Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. But if that's true, and this is true, and no Anderson family member can have their memories altered, then that would mean that that's that's that has that settled it? All the other people have had their memories altered? I don't know. We still haven't had her get... David hasn't gotten back to her when she's tried calling. And, yeah, she hasn't been in touch with Logan since learning of her supposed death. So long as my head is safe from the story, I can focus on fixing this. We'll have to see. I hope these guys turn out to be okay. <laughs> I think they're too silly. But I don't know. Who knows? Area around an overlap is always flooded. <clears throat> that's true. That's what we learned. Which is why we need to go explore this area. Does the overlap cause the flooding? Maybe. That's reasonable, considering it keeps going away every time we get out of one. 
Fact versus fiction. Look at all these. Tor and my father had problems. There was trouble. Freya took me away after that. Is Tor the reason my father left? Sure sounds like it. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous. Didn't want me around it. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Mom called the mind place make-believe. She didn't want me knowing about the Anderson powers. All Andersons have powers. Mom never told me about them because she thought they were dangerous. Wanted me to have a normal life. Well, I can't go here, right? Because doesn't the underlying page mean it's done? Yeah. I think so. yeah. They can communicate with me here because they have something similar. Because we're family? Yes. Just accept it at this point. You're family. You saw a bloody painting or a photograph with all of you in it together. Just accept it, Saga. Tor and Odin understand the true nature of the mind place. Does that not go here? Oh, probably here. Huh. huh. They know more about the mind place than I do. They know me. Is this not done? No, we have one more. The mind place isn't some mental technique. It leads me inside people's heads to see the truth. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place, thanks to their own powers. What? He makes me sound like some kind of mind reader. Yeah, that is what it is. You just admitted that that's what's happening. You're a bloody mind reader, which makes sense. That's how she figured out she... Seriously, how could you just assume that it's intuition? It's like when she was profiling Rose and knew that if she told Rose... Wake has returned. How could you get that just from intuition? Huh. Not at all. Our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Mm. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. All right, finally, Saga. It's a lot to process. This would explain why my memories haven't changed like everyone else. I don't know. Now I do want to go back and rewatch when they were talking to her outside the trailer park. Because all you would need is them to, re to reaffirm that. Ugh, stop. Why? Why does it keep doing this? It keeps highlighting them as something I need to put down, but I can't put them down yet. So stop highlighting them. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Wouldn't she have been that Anderson though? So... <sighs> what do you mean, the her daughter? Huh. Well, wait, wait, wait. So is it saying that if you're an Anderson, you can't be written into the stories? No, because Saga's being written into the story. She's saying that her memory can't be affected. Oh, I thought that was the story couldn't affect that. Can we go back? Or did it close? Well, it was on a different board. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, wait, wait. Is it this one? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It said that our family is something, something, something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where it went. But, I mean, it mentions the fact that their memories can't be changed. You know, see, this would explain why my memories haven't changed like everyone else's. Kadedrin, do you have thoughts on this? Is is it is it that Andersons can't be affected at all by the stories, or is it just that their memories can't be altered? I don't know. 
I don't know. It's fine. Moving on. We're postulating that. Cleo was postulating... Um, speculating if 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 Logan is technically an Anderson, then if that was true, that Andersons can't be altered at all, then her daughter shouldn't be able to be altered. But if it's just that their memories can't be affected, then that wouldn't be the case. That'd be something different. All right, did we get, do everything? Is it still? Highlighting this again, the thing that I can't do. Yeah, it keeps doing this. Stop it. Stop telling me there's more things to do when there's not more things to do because I can't do it yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be that way because if, if Alan Wake is saying he wrote her as the hero, then the only reason she's here is because Alan Wake wrote her into it. But at the same time, you still have the situation where Alex Casey... That means he has to have been her partner, at least for a decent amount of time. Oh, I can talk to him again. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake to stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept Thanks, from buddy. you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Yeah. Thanks, Grandpa. So is it just a cruel coincidence that Logan's Don't not picking up the phone and neither is David? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, we can finally... We can finally... Well, at least in this area, it's all we're doing is basically the creating FBC shortcuts. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake, and I have the clicker. We have to work oh, together yeah. to stop this. I mean, we mentioned the FBC showing up. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. So, Focus yeah. Saga. Uh, get to the station to wake. When Ilmo had was trying to kill Alan, and then he yelled at Saga, you don't understand. Like, we need to do this or that. Obviously, that highlights something, the cultists. Knowing something, we don't, I think. You know, it's not just a situation I'm assuming that Ilmo is crazy, but rather the cultists do know something that they don't. But, yeah, it was it was Estevez. The F FBC, the Federal Bureau of Control, popped in at that point to essentially, they took Alan away. Estevez is the agent that was assigned to investigate the Bright Falls incidents by the FBC, but this was, I think, even way, way, way back. After they realized something was happening around Cauldron Lake. Hold on, I'm just double-checking. There's not other doors we're missing. Yeah, and then at the end of AWE, they had gotten, like, reports from Estevez that she was still on site because in the game control the hiss infestation happens at the fbc but estevez was still on site at bright falls doing the investigations here um aside from these other fbc investigations but the weird thing was at the end of awe which is back in 2018 or 2019 they got reports from Estevez about another AWE happening in Bright Falls, this particular event that we're playing right now, and that she was reporting it somehow from the future, which presumably is this instant now in 2023. And somehow she was able to report on this, send it to the, to the, um, to the FBC. <laughs> from the future? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So now we're actually getting to see what was happening with Estevez and the Bright Falls incident. 
which is weird. <laughs> but we haven't we haven't gotten any more out of that outside of seeing her for the first time yesterday. All right, let's see. We got places to explore. Oh wait, there's a way to go right here. Yeah, we should probably just go that way cuz we got to explore all of this. And then this area is going to be unflooded too, presumably. Can I, can I not go this way? Alright, so yeah. I, I do want to get back to Alan's... Oh, I do want to get back to Alan here, but... You know, there's stuff to do, man. We gotta... Get our upgrades and stuff. And other rhymes, right? Not that we need more charms. By any means. It's 1988. A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared. The old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even, or changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes. Until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Mm. Oh yeah, and Estevez was the one that supposedly caught uh, the doctor. The doctor from the... Who is it? Dr. Hartman? From the first game? Estevez is the one who captured him. Um... Took him into custody, and brought him back to the, uh, the house, the FBC, and then he turned into a creepy Taken monster. Sure, that was fun. Honestly, of all, if if he if he was just a simple Taken in uh, Controls AWE, he's easily the scariest and creepiest taken that we've ever encountered he was like completely mutated all right let's see we know where the stashes are but we don't know like where the lunch boxes are and stuff and the rhymes Too much stuff. Look at all these bloody pads we've got. Can barely hear this.
We should have asked Pat about Wendy and the beef jerky. We should have asked Pat if he had any leftover beef jerky. All we did was tell him we loved the show. Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. Some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. Some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. boxes what's down here doesn't matter we can't get there what is this I don't know I'm assuming we can't get there so moving on That beautiful makes me feel relaxed. Oh shoot, are we going down? Ah oh, shoot, we gotta go back. I got it. Even though we don't need, honestly, we probably don't need anything we're getting from these boxes but if I see the box on the map it's going to drive me crazy knowing that we didn't pick it up and we're running out of space in our shoe box I'm apparently avoiding combat enough come on man they shouldn't be able to come out with the sun like this it's bullcrap We got one cult member and two regular peeps. We do have a lunchbox that we missed over here, though. Yes. Press. 
He needs his coffee. Tug on it. There's apparently a limit on that. Ah, oh, what a waste. Hello, turtles. Hello, turtles. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. See if we can recover any of my bolts. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Happy Friday. Uh, we got an arrow pointing this way for something. Where are the two bodies that we killed? Oh, here they are. No bolts? Come on, man. All right, hold on. We saw uh, dream catchers over here. We have an arrow. We have dream catchers. We got a stash, all in the same area. Here Another one of those lunch boxes. Don't pretend to be anyone or anything besides who you are. Is that uplifting? Espresso, welcome back. Oddly enough. They're doing fine. One of them was saying your name over and over again. Talking about how much he needs his espresso. Espresso. <laughs> right? Close enough. Alright. Well, I don't know where that other body is. He's like, I, I need my espresso. Something like that. If you're not familiar with the game, the Taken, um, they have like, they have like a semblance of their humanity still left. So they, they utter like random mundane statements about something that they used to do in their lives. In this case, this taken likes coffee. Presumably. Ah, shoot, I think he saw us. Yep. Crap, we got another one too. I can't even see them through the woods, but they can clearly see me. them or they lost me oh my gosh we still need to get the stash and what do the arrows mean the arrows aren't pointing to a stash what do they point to we saw arrows okay they're still out there yeah see we got got it stop zipping around
I don't like the zippy ones, man. Throwing blades at you from a distance. Especially in these wooded areas where we can't see them. All right. I've, I've lost where that arrow was. I must, maybe the arrow was just pointing towards the cache. We saw an arrow on one of the rocks. Ah, screw it. Let's just go to the cache. The stash. Oh, here we go. Well, see, that's confusing. The stash Another is right here. Box. So what is this arrow pointing at? It's got to be leading somewhere else. All right, let's see if we can open this first. We can't. We need a key. Unless we can use the bolt cutters. Come on, are you telling me the bolt cutters can't do this? All right. Let's see if this is leading to the key. Okay. Yeah. Where am I going? Where can I even go from here? Am I losing my mind? Is this just... This is just going in a circle. Why are these arrows just pointing in a circle? What is this? It's just a paint. Paint can. Or is this leading to a key or not? <laughs> it's, it's literally pointing in a circle. It's go, it says, oh, there's an arrow here. It says, oh, look that way. Oh, there's an arrow here. Oh, there's an arrow here. Oh, there's an arrow there. Oh, now it's pointing to this arrow here. And the freaking bastards keep respawning. All right, we can't keep doing this, but I don't know where to go for the key. Nightgazer! Nightgazer, welcome back! Happy... Happy Friday. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Cerebral or Kededrin know what's going on here with these arrows. Just pointing me in a circle over and over again. I'm open to hints. But let's move on for now, because I don't know what the heck it's telling me to do. You have to refresh, Night Gazer. Oh, that's okay. Well... Oh, wait, look! I found the key! That's really weird. <laughs> I found a key! <laughs> That's just a random sign with an arrow pointing down at it. Alright, let's see if we can grab this without it drawing the attention of the Taken over here. I figured it out. I don't feel like those arrows helped at all. You can't hide from the trees. We are everywhere. That might be true. Alright. No, screw you guys. Well, I mean, we were following the arrows in a circle. Were they supposed to lead to that sign? I don't know. I mean, I saw the other signs, the broken signs. Were the broken signs supposed to lead to it? I didn't really follow those. <laughs> We haven't encountered any new rhymes. Well, that's friggin' stupid. <laughs> the yellow arrows lead you nowhere. The ones that you can only see with your flashlight. The secret ones, the ones that are not out in the open. Okay, we can switch realities in here. Um, yeah, look at how full my freaking... <sighs> this is crazy. Oh, let's reload our crossbow. Uh, I think the paint is just special paint. I don't think our flashlight's special. Alright, let's grab some flares. 
don't need all these pads, but we also are very, very limited on space right now. I wish these, I wish these guns weren't taking up so much space. Alright, this is probably good. What is this? Rocket flare. Single shot flare. Inflicts heavy damage in a large area impact. Say what? When did we get this? Rocket flare. I'll have to try this out. Quick slot. Okay, flares. Alright. So we could come back here and switch switch realities after we're done exploring the area. This is this is a big open area right now though. Of places we can explore. We got a ranger station we can explore now. Still haven't come across any new rhymes. Only found one lunchbox. Look. We've got another. I'm assuming this is related to this stash. We got more arrows. But I don't know what to believe anymore. You can't just put arrows up that go through a circle that don't help. How am I supposed to know when to trust this? All right, we do have symbols, though. Um, what is this? What's happening over here? Is there a page over here? Why is it we getting swirlies? All right, first of all, where's the stash? Okay. There's another of, cult stash. Another one of those telling cult us to boxes. Use flash. Okay. The question is, do we have more than three answers? Okay. Why is it pointing down here? I don't know. That's confusing. Uh, problem is... I don't know what order to put these in. I can't tell that these arrows are indicating any order that they're supposed to go in. God, got it. We got another one. I definitely heard someone over to the right. But I don't see anything. Alright, how in the world do we know what order to put these in? I've, we've seen at least three. So we can assume that these are the ones we need. We got a left, right. Mm hmm okay, yeah. We got uh, two down. And we got... Down, up. We'll say down, up, left, right, down, down. But yeah, I have n I'm not clear on what the order is supposed to be. Maybe if we're assuming this one's first? I have no idea. I, I, I have no flipping clue. 
Put the down down first. Or this one. We'll go left to right. Left to right. What was the other one? And was it left, right? If it is, then that's not the right order. It was left, right. Ah, uh, duck on it. Okay, so let's... <laughs> no. We can't try every. I mean, it's not a whole lot of combinations. Unless I'm missing one. Did I miss one out there? I might have missed one. If I wasn't looking right. I don't even remember what order I did before. Wait, what one am I what one am I missing? This one. <laughs> dang, dang it. I'm already forgetting what or order I did them in. What order did I do? Ugh, I give up. I should have probably been writing this down. I, I'm i sure maybe there's a logic to which ones are supposed to go first, but I'm not, I'm not getting it. Oh, doggone it. We've already got people here again. I hate it. Leave me alone. I don't like this. I can't keep wasting ammo. I should be... I, I don't remember. I don't even remember what orders I did it in. I've completely forgotten. I mean, do these arrows make sense to anybody else in the order in which these are supposed to go? Again, we can't keep... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember 
what I what I did before. <laughs> yeah. Um well, let's see. I'm already getting up first. Which one would be considered an up first? We don't have an up one, do we? It's getting to the point where I don't even know if I'm... ...doing these rights now. Oh man, we're gonna have to reload at this rate. We can't keep wasting our ammo like this the entire time. one yes pretty sure it did Ugh, finally yeah 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 why is this oh there we go all right he just got word that the feds have alan wake in custody he came out of the lake he's dangerous Everyone be on high alert. We need to take the writer out. Spread the word. Okay. Alright. This is a note talking about them meeting up to try to take out Alan Wake. I mean, it's not also that far off from like basically what Nightingale was doing in the first one. Assuming that Nightingale knew that Alan Wake's writings were changing things. I assume Nightingale was wanting to take Alan Wake out to try to get him to stop writing. I don't like exploring this area so far. Too many of these speedy bastards. A stash to our right. I'm gonna in the cabins up here. Yeah, I don't I don't know if those arrows were uh There was more than three symbols on the trees. I mean, if you're talking about the twigs, I don't think the twigs had any relation, but the arrows, there was multiple, multiple arrows. I only saw th the three. Obviously, it was those three symbols. But yeah, if, if the arrows were, were giving an indicator in what order they were supposed to be, I have no idea what it was. We just guessed with all those different combinations. And unfortunately... It might have even been the actual last one that we did. There might have not even been any more combinations.
Another cold yeah. stash? What is this one? It's a key. What is this page, though? What the heck is this? Is that Santa? Is that Santa and the reindeer? It's Santa going down a chimney with his sleigh and reindeer on the roof. Hmm. Maybe that means the key is in the chimney? At the cabin? I don't know. Let's go check out the cabin. Because I don't see any clues or indicators around it. Is there a chimney on this bloody building? There is. There is a chimney. Let's go check the fireplace. Or should we look around behind first? See if there's any rhymes. I hear frogs. But it sounded like they were coming from the cabin. There's a teddy bear over there. You see that? Must be locked from the other side. Oh, come on. Can we not even get in this cabin? Hey, the key! We didn't even have... Oh wait, is this the key to get into the cabin? What did it say? No, it says Ranger Station Stashy. Okay, this must be the key. So we didn't have to even go and check inside the chimney. <laughs> it was just... It was just next to the chimney on the outside. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Come on, guys. Did she just say late night poker game? Come on, man. What is this? This sucks.
Okay. All right. Let's try to get this damn stash. Uh, there's this other guy I killed. His body vanished. Okay, can we not even get in here? We didn't try the other door, but that'd be weird to me if one door was locked, the other one was not. This looks like the same style cabin as the other test that we did. Oh, yeah, we can get in here. We are running out of space, though. We have only one slot open. These bloody things only... T you can only have one? Shoot, man. We should have tried these. Why am I bothering ducking and dodging when we have these crazy explosive devices and they're taking up so many slots? Ay, ay, ay. This is why I'm running out of room. I keep not using... <laughs> Oh, another <laughs> my rhyme. tools, my resources. All right, what do we got? Child needs their mother to keep them safe and a home as their hiding place. Because outside the monsters roam and chase when you ring your doorbell, don't yell, don't tell them to go away, give them treats and pray. They won't rock your house down to the ground. <laughs> what? Well, it says we got a mother and a child. We can't put them both on the house. Yes. All right. We didn't need the mother doll, apparently. And we just heard a doorbell. Who rang the doorbell? Is it a monster? We don't have candy. We don't <laughs> we don't have candy to give any monsters. Do we have to answer the door? Who's out there? Hello. I don't want to go out there. We still have to look around for stuff in here. Oh, okay. Hold on. We've got one ranger station, one boatyard, two bunker woods. Two bunker woods? Have we already done a, a rhyme in the area? Did we do a rhyme in this area yesterday? Oh, gosh, I don't remember. Wait, they're saying two are in this area? Surely we did at least one. So there's two bunker words, one ranger station, which we just did, and there's one over here. So... Oh, I should be able to know. We would have put it on the board, right? Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll That's the that. plan. But the FBC have him. What is happening? Note instructing Cold is to take the writer out. Alright. Colt knows Wake is here. They clearly aren't fans of his. Yes. Okay, Colt stashes, Bright Falls. Puzzle to open this one. Felt a little silly. Strange for a cult. Which one was this one? Well, that wasn't... I mean, I guess. The picture of Santa. <laughs> on, the, on the chimney. This note inside makes it sound like Wake is their next target. Yep, that was the one we read. Hmm. <sighs> 
Okay. Nursery rhymes. Yeah, let's see. Bright Falls. FBC file listing test sites. What? And Ranger Cabin. Okay, we found one other one. This has got to be one that we found in the Bunker Woods. So we should have at least one that we need to find in the Bunker Woods still. <laughs> is the moral of the story here to feed anyone who rings your doorbell? This is very odd. I don't have anything to feed them. But we need to go get whatever charm this is. Hi there, little friend. And I don't have the inventory space. I don't even know why we're scavenging up here. <laughs> So I'm assuming that's probably all that's going to be up here is scavenging. Or not. There's nothing even to get up here. No notes. I mean, it looks like there's notes, but we can't grab them. Um, Alright. I don't think there's anything up here. Other than the deer head. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go get the charm. We have a la exactly one slot that we can get with the charm. But where's the monster at? Seriously. Where are you, monster? Ooh. That's uh, creepy. Oh, no. The upstairs is going to <laughs> have a purpose. Who's up there? I didn't even see you walk by me. Oh, I don't like it. Freaking phasmophobia nonsense. Oh no, they went into the bathroom. Uh, hello. Are you in the tub? What? There's no charm up here. What? Is it because I don't have candy? There's no charm and there's nobody in here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They left? Oh, there's the charm. So they came up here, took a bath, and then they went to bed? That is true. Oni is a ghost. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. My bracelet. It's another it's another free life. <laughs> it's another extra life bracelet charm. We have so many. Alright, well that was unnecessarily creepy with no payoff. Alright, let's get out of here. I should be thankful. Missed opportunity, though, right? They should have had something, like, pop up out of the mirror or something. That would have been scary. Okay, so... The only thing we might have in this area that we've possibly missed is, uh... Is, um... Lunch boxes. We know we have one more rhyme in this area, and we know we have a rhyme here. So, yeah, the only thing we don't have accounted for is... Possibly missing lunch boxes. Let's see. Case board. Lunch boxes. Where would we go to look at lunch boxes? Here we go. We actually have several missing lunch boxes. We've got three. 
Well, that's not several, I guess. Three. We're missing three lunch boxes. They might be in this area. They could also be somewhere in the town, for all we know. Are you seeing the fact that there's two darker ones here and one lighter one here? Does that possibly mean that the two dark ones might be in the area? Well, no. It might just be random from the light. Because we're not obviously in the Cauldron Lake area. And one of those is dark. Two are dim. Never mind. Just a theory. And it doesn't hold water. Oh, shoot. We missed a page over here. There's a manuscript. So we definitely need to go back there. Ah, shoot. Let's do that now because... Yeah, there's a switcher here. That'd be easier to go to. And there's a switcher here. It doesn't make sense to come all the way back here, so we're gonna have to go get that manuscript. Oh. Which would be fine. I'd be all for a nice, simple hike through the woods with the peaceful sunrise, I'm assuming. <laughs> the sunrise, because it was night yesterday uh, but I don't like that there's evil demon people that pop up every once in a while and a good friendly reminder if you haven't yet already don't forget to hit that like button oh my gosh just as I say that oh screw you guys don't you got anything better to do shoot one of the fast ones sees me Go, 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 go. Where is it? There it is. Screw you. Ah. How did I miss this, man? It's right here. Unless it popped up later on. Ah. Oni says, I definitely am real. Where did that come from, Oni? Who said you weren't real? You want me to beat them up? That's not very nice to tell somebody. The 81st annual Deer Fest was just around the corner. Everyone in Bright Falls was bustling. There were banners to be hung, pies baked, deer masks sold. Bright Falls had made the top 100 American small town lists for its modest rustic charm. The town expected a lot of tourists this year, but a shadow hung over the Deer Fest preparations. The forecast promised rain, Fearful whispers promised more murders. The police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker had deputies patrolling the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings. But to cancel Deerfest? Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious. Their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The lights seemed dimmer. Flood water pressed in on the town. What is going the on with the subtitles? Poured in with it. Why were my subtitles so far off? <laughs> Oni's always haunting me. All right, we got the page. We need to get back to the this area, the Bunker Woods, find the missing rhyme. And then get into the boatyard. Hopefully, without dying. Wait a minute, hold on, what's on us? We need to put some stuff away. Oh yeah, we definitely need to put some, look at it. Look at all these freaking free life charms we have. It, it's getting to a point where we might have to just like get rid of some of them can we get rid of them no of course you can't <laughs> you can't get rid of these these are just going to become permanently oh my gosh what we would have to do is start putting them on and just letting them try to kill us that's how we would have to get rid of them and then we got all these bloody things 
Oh, we are out of space, man. I can't even stack these. I can only hold 20 bullets in one stack. We have so many ammo piles. This is crazy. Yeah, we're going to try using some of these. If we run into some more in the woods, we're going to shoot some of these rockets at them. Oh, we need to reload that. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Okay, um... All right, this is gonna have to do for now. I'm gonna shoot these things. That was fun. We should probably heal. We probably should have healed while we were in there. Oh well. Two for. Did they drop anything for me? Not that we need more stuff. <laughs> what the hell, right? Let's go ahead and pick it up anyway. It's not like we're completely and totally out of inventory space. All right, moving on. We did open up two slots by blowing those guys up. That's fun, though. That is true. We have speculated whether or not Oni is real. I sometimes wonder whether or not Oni is fake. And people who watch our streams are just entertaining me when I'm talking to my imaginary friend. On one hand, that's unfortunate and kind of sad, but on the other hand, it means that I have a lot of very considerate viewers who have never tried to oust the fact that I'm insane. Another one of those rhymes. Now, hold on a second. Is this all considered Bunker Woods? I guess it doesn't matter. We just found it. If this is considered the other Bunker Woods ones that we need, then I guess we're good. I assume just this area was Bunker Woods, but maybe this is... It's this entire area. That's confusing, though. Why is the name only up here? Cult ghost. At some point, everybody just has an intervention with me. It sits me down. It's like, listen, Oni died ten years ago. We've been entertaining the fact that you think he's still alive, but we need to get you help. What are you talking about, guys? He was just in my channel talking to me. We were playing frickin' Elden Ring. No. You were playing the game by yourself. He died ten years ago. No! It can't be real! I don't believe it! Oni's real! Alright, we gotta figure out this rhyme. <laughs> to the beach, a child went wandering. Pretty shiny rock she's gathering. But from the water, a monster rose. A horrible beast with a pointy nose. A flapping wing and dragging toes. I believe you're alive, Oni, but I don't know if everybody else can actually see what you're saying. But in true honesty, if if you were fake, then what would probably be happening right now is that I have your account 
open on another window and I'm typing that to myself and I've convinced myself that what you're typing is actually real, but I'm actually the one typing it. That borders on split personality at that point, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's alive. There's MP. MP. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Okay, the child was wrong. It was her mother. It was her mother all along on a boat grabbing a towel that's already gone. Okay. Let's assume that we actually are using three dolls. So put mother on the boat, monster in the water. Where would the child be, though? Pretty shiny rock she's gathering. So maybe here? Hmm. Yay. Oh, shit. More ghostly footsteps. Look at the... I want to take this giant bear along. I still have not done a single rhyme that involved throwing a child in the water. There was one rhyme we did yesterday that I thought might be doing it, and then it turned out it wasn't. So you're just obsessed with throwing children in the ocean, Cerebral. I have not seen. I have not done a single rhyme that ended up with the child in the water. Oh, speaking of people in water. Yeah, see, look. These are taken... That are, like... Which is weird, because the, they're taken that's supposed to look like they're in the water. So they're reflected. They're, they have a reflection underneath them. But when they come and attack you, they look like the hands underneath are walking. I want to show you guys, but... I also don't want them to attack me. Where did See how he's sprouted arms now? Now it looks like his bottom arms are walking on the ground. It's so creepy. That's easily the creepiest taken in this game. Oh my gosh, he's coming. Go away. Hello. Whoa, is he making things close? Ah, shoot, there's another one. Is that the one I killed? You're mangled. Oh, shoot, a lunchbox. Gosh, we gotta get that lunchbox. We still haven't gotten the charm yet, either. Dead. Oh, he's laughing at me. Yeah, the so, yeah, it's it. The idea is that they're supposed to be like somebody in water. Like, see, there they are, and so the you're seeing a reflection of them underneath, and a reflection of their arms and the ripples. It's a really neat idea for a design. Look at him. What a creeper. Never have too many charms. Well, 
Well, don't eat these eggs. These are non-edible eggs. I'm pretty sure they're rocks with crochet wrapped around them. Remember what the that the story won't let anything bad happen to us unless it's good for drama. <laughs> what? Uh, we got a tent up here. All right, hold on. Let's check. Um, I'm assuming that is definitely the the other woods. Whoever this is, they seem aware of Wake's horror story. Of course, we already know it's Rose. And she definitely is aware of something happening with Wake's story. I'm not loving the depiction of the mom as a horrible beast with a pointy nose. Kids can be cruel, I guess. Yeah, so we only have one left, and that should be the one in the boat yard. <laughs> Don't eat those eggs. Don't eat the eggs. Those are forbidden Easter eggs. No eating. You break your teeth. Yeah, we, we learned from the um, the nursing home that it's one Mandy May who's been creating the um, dream catchers and, and wrapping up those rocks and then uh, Rose presumably is the one doing all the writings and putting these up everywhere and then hiding the lunchbox Rose is uh, not completely stable but she does have more of an inkling of what's going on than most so she's crazy but yet not entirely crazy, right? Doesn't the baby in a series of unfortunate events eat everything? She's like a, a nibbler. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Oh, I found another one. Oni's been playing... Oni's either been playing Boulder's Gate or World of Tanks or what is that other one? Warframe? Oh, here we go. Rose receives a message. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero... Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero... liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the network to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. <laughs> That's a the weird coincidence. To mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the network. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Yeah, that's that's a really weird coincidence. It's like the game was listening to me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just confirmed it. The woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing large shape. A bad shape. It looked at me with evil glowing eyes. I gasped. No. It had seen me. It growled and lurched toward me. I ran. I ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. 
I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner for sure. I ran again. I had never been so scared, not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come to save me. Jeez, Rose. Calm down. Calm down. I don't gotta get so dark. Just keep writing encouraging notes. Alright, we so we are definitely looking for at least one rhyme in the area. At least one. Somewhere. Are we going to be able to cut the bolt? Uh, cut the... Because, yeah, we have the one gate on this side that's locked. We need to use the bolt cutters. But can we do it from this side? I don't know. Give me them bullets. What? Can't go through here? Come on, now. Oni is always on high alert. And here we go. There's a rhyme over here. There's the rhyme. Five little monsters out on the sea, competing to see who the winner will be. They rocketed their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried. And the sea, she replied, On the bottom they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. Um... Well, we have five little monsters on sea, but then it says they're on boats. But Mama called out to the sea. Hmm. Oh, all right. Hmm. 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 Alright, I think we've gotten every single rhyme in the Bright Falls area. We still gotta head back to Cauldron Lake at some point. I, I keep saying that. I'm hoping the game's gonna bring me back to Cauldron Lake at some point. Should I just go back to Cauldron Lake and try to get the missing things? Like, at some point, should I just go and do it? Go there. Go, go, go over there. I wanna look down there. Go over there! Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Um... Well... We do have rental cabins that we can access, possibly. Now that we have the bolt cutters. Um, but I'm not seeing any stashes. We should know where every stash is now, shouldn't we? There's no children. There's no children in the ocean. There's not a single rhyme. Yeah. I mean, I know we have the one... Ner we have the one box right up here but i don't know it's fine we'll wait i'm very curious about this though because yeah we haven't explored this area at all the rental cabins now that we can get in i'm curious what's over here hmm we also have a couple places in town don't we with the bolt cutters we have the bolt cutters that give us okay there's cold stash here we can get to and here we should grab those before we Switch over to Alan.
not that we need the gear. Where am I going? Yeah, can we cut this? Oh, we can cut it from this side. Yeah, okay. Am I hearing Taken behind me? Are there Taken in the boat? Oh my gosh, there is. Or is that just a cult member? He doesn't look very swirly. Have we fought normal cult members? Whatever, we're leaving them there. We don't need anything more here. That's crazy, man. Got taken right on the outskirts of town. Literally just right there. MP. I forget. We can do own. We can do a Milo cam for MP right now. He's actually right next to me. Curiously, there he is, sleeping. Here I am. He's, he's, he's snoring right now. Not snoring loud enough that I need to worry about it coming through on the stream, but he's definitely snoring. Where is this? Oh, we passed it. I never picked up the charm? I mean, honestly, do I want the charm? Who knows? Watch it be another free life charm. We actually didn't look at the one charm. Uh, that we picked up. It was something new. Here, we'll grab this charm and then look at them both. Let me guess. The charm is beyond the dinks. I know. Kadedrin, are you behind on the stream? Refresh your stream, Kadedrin. This is too many friggin' guys, man. Are you kidding me? Where is this charm at? Hit him? How is he not dead? Oh shoot, I think the fast one sees me. Ah oh, crap. I was hoping that would cancel it. Hmm, okay. I think she... I think she lost me somehow. She went too far away. We only got one bolt left. Give me my bolts back! Why don't none of you have my bolts? good as shooting a bolt in your head if I can't recover them Daryl would be very disappointed with me look at this I got one bolt well on the bright side we have lots of bolts inside of our inventory 
Look at that. Another charm. All right. Let's leave this terrible place. Where Fox? Welcome back, Where Fox. Happy Friday to you. Zoe is somewhere. Oh, she's actually over here to my right, sleeping on the uh, on the love seat. Milo's just passed out right here, keeping me company. Give some love for the kitty cats. If you have not yet, hit that like button. Smash that like button right now. Smash that like button for Milo. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. We've been streaming for quite a while now. And it's just been Saga uh, grabbing all the collectibles in the area. I guess we should look at the, um, the charms. Okay, so we have an ch anchor charm. Chance to stun an enemy on flashlight boost. Don't really care about that. Um, Valhalla Nursing Home Charm. Increases effectiveness of painkillers and trauma pads. Uh, that could be good. Could be good. But, I don't know. Maybe this one is really working. Increases quality and quantity of resources found. This might be why we're overloaded. It almost makes me wonder, on one hand, it seems like it's obviously a... a a really good charm if it is working as well as it is but because we have so much stuff would it be worth swapping this charm for something else i don't know i don't know all i know is we can't get rid of the charms and we have a lot of them and they're taking up so much space. man there should be a place to put the charms that don't take up inventory space seriously we've got how many We've got, uh, like, nine or eight extra charms right now, and they're all taking up inventory slots. Yeah, the, the, I feel like the charms need to be in, like, a separate area like this. There's just, there's too many. And they're taking up so much friggin' space. And I'm not happy about that. Another cult box. All right, what do we got here? We got a one, two, three... Um, okay, looks like a shed of, uh, what do you call those? Wood poles sticking out of the water. And the order seems simple enough. It's just top and the right and then the bottom. Where do we have a pole with numbers on it? Yeah, they shouldn't. They shouldn't take up any space. Even if you're not using them, they should just be they should just be placed in uh Okay, well that I was thinking that the numbers were going to be on a single pole. We actually have separate poles. Okay, so we got a 9. This is not helpful actually. They don't appear like they're in the image. But with that nine is off to the left. Maybe that's a clue. We're missing one number, though. We have a nine and a six. Where's our missing number? Out of the way! Any numbers over here? in the last number. I see 
none. None over here, but it's gotta be on one of these. Right? Did I not see it? Ask this guy. Hey, have you seen another number over here, buddy? You know, it looks like that one right there. Looking at all these freaking poles, I don't see any other numbers. Shoot, man, where the heck is the third number? Hey you! Well, ah, we found it. Again. Like this doesn't help me with the order, though. I don't feel like. Because the order on the page makes it look like one's in the top left, then one's over the right, and one's on the bottom. That's any indication on what the order's supposed to be. Well, no, hold on. That one's at the bottom. Some seven might be last. Let's assume seven's last. Where is the... Nine might be middle? Where's this one? And then six, I guess, might be top. Alright, let's say six, nine, seven. Yay! Gosh, it's so dark in here. If you steal from the cult, then the cult will come for you. Alright, jeez. Oh, yes! Ah, we expanded our inventory! So that's how Saga expands her inventory. She has to find it in a stash? Ooh, that makes me want to keep looking for all the stashes. Maybe. Because we still have one more expansion. Oh, we so needed that. We so needed that. Yeah, we gotta put these charms away still. Oh, I'm so glad I came over here to get that stash. All right, we got one more stash that we know of in the Bright Falls area. Remember this place. Can we get on the roof? Isn't there supposed to be a ladder right here? What happened to the ladder here? Alright, what does this say? Work log. January 1st. Overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. January 17th. Took a photo with the giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Parks trash can needed fresh coat of paint. Painted an extra layer. Tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area. Had an epiphany. A place to screw on the purple park branch. Do we need to go around the town to find the answers to this? Do we need to go where these places are mentioning? It does show up paint can here uh town hall people complaining about tea reception giant moose statue in the park dogs keep digging up flowers parks trash can needed a fresh can of coat of paint tried painting the large tree in the park but the weather was too hot cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area had an epiphany replaced a screw in the purple park branch what Oh, it's these. Are we going to find these symbols all over the park? Ugh, this is not helpful. I feel like I need to take a screenshot of this if we're having to go to the park. Uh, 
I don't want to go to the park. We got a symbol in the flowers. We learned from the last time, didn't we? Oh look, we got a lunchbox Set somewhere over here too. Held fast. And another lunchbox. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. <laughs> well, we have not used any guides so far. I'm kind of hoping that at some point in the game it'll give us lo give us these locations because we've. We ended up getting the, the notations about the stash locations, which revealed on the map. So I'm hoping that the same thing's going to happen eventually for the lunchboxes. Okay. Did it mention a gazebo? Hold on. Screenshots. Uh, dogs digging up flowers. We could assume that's the. F oh wait, that wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> Mentioned something about poor TV reception. Paint job. Took a photo with a giant moose. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Wait a minute. Is none of this mention a gazebo? Maybe we have some red herrings amongst these. I've only seen two so far, though. Place to screw on the purple park bench. Is this a purple park bench? I don't think so. We've only seen... But yeah, we've only seen two. Okay, we got that on the satellite. Could that be the TV situation? Overprivileged town folk complaining about the TV section. Okay. So we can assume this one's first. Let's assume that's the first one. Two ups. We got flowers. That could be the dog one. I'm sure whatever is coming is going to be a cakewalk. Excuse me? But that's the thing though. If if the only one that the other only other one that's left is the gazebo. I'm not seeing any other symbols. I'm only seeing these three. Park's trash can needed fresh coat of paint. Let's see. Where's where's the trash can? Oh, right here. Well, there's nothing on the trash can. <laughs> well, I guess we'll assume these are the only three. What would the gazebo be? Anybody have any ideas what the gazebo would be in this set of re work reports? Yeah, where's the giant moose statue in the park? What is it talking about? What giant moose statue? I don't see any giant moose statue. Am I going crazy? There's no giant moose statue anywhere. Oh, it's got to be this. Okay, so that's got to be the last one. I, I, I'm going to assume the other ones are red herrings. So it's going to go dish, flowers, gazebo. Dish, flowers, gazebo. So that's going to be two up, left, right, and uh, up, up. So, oh, wait. I guess two sideways up. <laughs> I don't remember these that well. So two sideways up. 
two, two, two up side by side, left, right, and then uh, this one's up, up, stacked. And we'll assume it's in that order. Yeah. Where am I going? Make me go to the park. Monsters live in the woods. Thanks, cults. Yeah, most of them are you. You cultists. Well, at least the taken ones are. Well, we did not expand our inventory with that one, sadly. We still got two locked doors that are unaccounted for. But I think we're done. I think it's time to switch to Alan. We've been we've been playing for like two hours as Saga, just collecting things. But uh, the the two locks are like key locks, right? We can't actually access them. We need to find keys for these doors. Hi, folks. Don't mind me. She wouldn't just wander off and not tell us. Especially after all the weirdness at the lock. I'm worried, Jake. Well, I'm fucking worried, too. You just had to follow some stupid internet rumors and solve the riddle of Bright Falls. You didn't okay. have to come. One of us needs it's to stay at the lodge in case Marcy shows up. It's not my fault got caught in the middle of an And the other one should go out looking Look, for her. if we canvass the wood... We're, we're not sure even talking to each other at this point. Some hints to her whereabouts. We can even use some of our equipment. This is not the time to geek out over the stupid gear, Riley. It's all toys anyway. Dinner. Pie. You want some pie? Bright Falls is supposed to have great pie. That guy's eating a burger. Kind of. They're eating pie. I'm glad to hear it. They look like they really enjoy each other's company. It's this door right here. It just says locked. I can't get through this. Boys only. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to access these, but it, you know, the fact that it's putting the locked door on the map makes me feel like eventually we might be able to. And this is somebody else's room, I think. Should we go see if that lady's still banging on the door? And yelling. <coughs> Alan wake time. Alan wake time. Let's see. We just finished up return. Um, we re we finished up return five, right? Old old gods. Gosh, it's still so dark in here. Oh, well, she's not here. Maybe she finally got in. She's not banging on the door anymore. It's this one. This is the it locked one. Open. Yeah, that lady. She vanished. Alright. It's been way, way overdue. But we are finally going to switch to Alan Wake here. Yeah, she's a sweet baby boy. He's just so happy. Alright, say goodbye to Milo. Bye bye. Back to the dark place.
Okay, so the last time we were in the dark place, we finished up at the hotel. Um, and we were needing to go back to the apartment for some reason. I don't, I don't remember why exactly, but we need to go back. I just know that. Wait, did I do these backwards? Did I do that again? Oh, no. No, I didn't. Okay. Alright, how are we doing on inventory for you, Alan? You got this giant frickin' shotgun. It's taking up a bunch of friggin' space. What do we have in the shoebox? Lots of health. Lots and lots of health. I think we're alright. I don't think we need anything more. It's probably fine. Although we could take an extra battery. Let's take an extra battery. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. Pad, yep. I think we're good there. Alright. Back to New York. Let's go to the OD Diner. Their food is highly addictive. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to do out here. There is this. We never got this. I don't know what this is. But I'm almost 100% positive it's on the roof. So I'm a little reluctant, reluctant to go back. But I don't know if this is something we need for a collectible. Whatever this square question mark is. Because, like, containers look like this, so it can't just be a normal container. So what the heck is it? Eh? Eh? I don't know. But we're going to the hotel, because the hotel... Or the apartment building's right here. scratch The apartment From certainly months, looks different. Dr. Allen died. I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. Have we heard this before? Hold on, let's go. Let's go and investigate the I red to room over here. The manuscript. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. None of this is normal. Everything keeps changing. I'm sure we're doing wonders for her photographs by bringing a flashlight in here. We 
can't do anything with these. We can... Why did that bring us in here? Yeah, we can't look at it anymore. What did I find? And then the top left one is a picture of Alan dead. Alan standing at a doorway on the left. I don't know what the right one is. Maybe just a silhouette of him. No such things is too personal. The photos are me. What was I supposed to do in here? It popped up. Let's see. I mean, these are still from the hotel. Okay, part two, one. Let's just watch it here. For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion. shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. He still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Did I miss something I was supposed to do with the photograph? Yeah, it was letting me examine the photographs and then... And then... And then it took me to the... It took me here. But... I can't tell that there's anything we need to do in here. Can we write? Nope. I don't know. All right, moving on. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Maybe we did ruin the photographs. All right, let's read it in order. Right, bottom, up. I wish they wouldn't do that in games, but I think that's how the emails go, right? 723, yeah. Bottom up. Hey, Alice. I'm more fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything is so effing great all the time, even when it's a, in fact the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for Casey's books. And they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd the horde of tanned zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm finally aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply, for good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, you gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting. Your pal, Barry. Joined a cult. Hey, Alice, you're gonna think I've been replaced by an evil devil, but I have joined a cult, and I love it. Joking about it being a cult, kind of. Blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. The best decision I ever made. I have never felt this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a GD miracle worker, not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of shit, but I have lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here, that something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. 
Enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. I hope you are good over there. Come visit any time. West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier mails. Hey, Alice, checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there. I've been trapped in a nonstop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. How these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Alice, sharks are circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or a TV show and or get this an effing video game. I told them to F right off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down her publisher, told her that we'll sue them. Don't worry, I've got you covered. <sighs> and that jumps from March to May. Hey, Alice, everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call you, but couldn't reach you. You were probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want help, if you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. Good old Barry. Good old Barry. All right. I thought this was supposed to trigger. Motion censored my butt. What if I was another person coming in? Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life. Aren't these fun photos? The darker, the better. That's what got Cynthia Weaver killed. Which way should we go? Should we go here first? Because technically this is... Maybe in order? Oh, this is part three. Never mind. I guess that's why it's not playing. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. Why the creepy music? Weakness is clarity. Just need to show a glimpse. Make you see what's beneath the surface. I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Hmm.
there's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Javu. The full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what is this crazy time jumping stuff? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I able to press two different buttons here? I definitely had that backwards. I assumed it was Scratch doing the rewrites. But that makes more sense considering the light we were having with some of these rewrites. So Alan stumbled upon return figures Scratch was writing it all and he's been trying to fix it and rewrite it. Saga needs to accept her fate. Yeah, what is the dealio here? What happens if I hit this button? Nothing. Nothing's happening. Alright, we're just gonna continue. I don't know why that's there. It's still there. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Yeah, he shot you in the head. But didn't the we come across... The edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Hmm. Yeah, because... Didn't he already come in the room earlier in the game and see him? Self having been shot in the head? Goals, right. Okay. Zane has said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Okay, 
Brody jumps straight into seven. That one was brief. Hmm. All right, hold on a second. Uh, should we have should we have returned back to Saga before starting this one? Could we have done that? Could we have switched back? Oh shoot! What the heck? Are you kidding me? How is our last save point twenty minutes ago? Hmm, that's disconcerting. All right. It was locked from the other side. Oh, we could actually switch reality right here. We can switch reality even though we just started this chapter? Hmm. Should we come back? Here, let's save you real quick. Let's see. I don't know. Thoughts? I guess the only person who can really give me thoughts is Kadedrin. Should we continue Masks with Alan? Or should we do... Uh, should we do Saga's next chapter? If we do Masks, we're going to be two chapters ahead of Saga at that point. Hmm... Where do we have to go with Saga? We gotta give the clicker to Wake at the Sheriff's Station. Let's go do that. Cadedron is falling asleep. Or he's pondering. He might be pondering on this. Where is the station? Well, the station's up north. They think they're so mysterious, they're ridiculous masks. Children in costumes. Okie dokie. I don't like the sounds coming from the station. <laughs> what? Dude, you're just sitting out, staring at the wall. out oh damn always okay. a good sign yeah this is chapter six for saga yeah maybe it's best that we came back here so we can try to keep her and alan <laughs> up to speed i was asking if we should have just because we we inadvertently started chapter seven of initiation but at this point we've now come back to saga so we're starting chapter six for a return this is not looking great. What in the world have the FBC didn't been doing in here? Agent Estevez? Oh, is damn. that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like uh, it's a good thing I didn't. Of. Looks like <laughs> my legs busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the shadow, and if you a don't... A taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. I only have one bolt. We probably should have accessed the shoebox before coming over here. Stop. 
Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Can I come around to your side? Yeah, we need to drop off these charms, too. Protect me. <laughs> Did I just hear Estevez come out? Close All the door. clear, Estevez. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> it feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? <sighs> we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake. But it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. All right, Kadedrin. I was hoping you were going to stay on later. It's the weekend. The weekend. What? I don't know if Cleo is, like, listening to me subconsciously. She's asleep. But she started giggling when I said it's the weekend. She must be having a happy dream. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. Just go watch. Watch in your bedroom, Kadendron. Watch until you drift off to sleep. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the shadow in some way. That's what I do. That's what I do. All right, let's move on here. All right, guys, have fun sleeping. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. I'll need these keys. That's true. My dreams are already insane as it is. Whether or not I watch something like this before bed isn't going to make any difference. I'm going to have insane dreams either way. Thank you. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Which actually I wanted to explore down there last time. And now we're getting to after the station has been taken over. We still got Tim Breaker's office locked up. 
Who knows? Are we going to see him come back out of the dark place at some point? Can I use these on his... Oh, I can! Nice. Okay. Yeah, we can open all the other doors, too. Revolution for the brain. Experience of time and other neuroscience breakthroughs. Memory loss. The battle to regain your mind. UFO myth and reality part three. Look at all this stuff he's into. Maybe it's all adding up. Don't forget. Okay. Why the skip? The numbers are still in order. Oh, wait, no. It gets to I and then J and then it starts over. K and L is one and two. What do we need this for? Gosh, Oni's creepy. Oni creeps me out, man. We're gonna need those numbers for something. Oh, it's this. Oh, hello, shoddy. All right, well, that didn't help, though. Yeah, how did this help me for that? Uh, yeah, I'm confused how this helps. Because what, what are we spelling? <laughs> what are we spelling? Does it have something to do with these books? Surely it can't be something simple like spelling out shotgun. But that would just be S-H-O. try let's see that'd be silly though right it can't be that simple let's see one two three four five six Me nine. So that'd be nine eight. Nine eight five. I mean, maybe we should finish looking at everything else in the office. Yeah. Oh, we got some FBC notes here. Research proposal. Alan Wake and Cole Connections. Summary. In 2010, a writer and suspected para paratilitarian, Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared into Cauldron Lake, a known threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of deaths found in the writing of Alan Wake. Interrogations with the murderers revealed they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult and considered his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. At least, there is no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake. Same area Wake disappeared. This is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with a direct physical connection to Alan Wake, operating in the location he was last seen in. I propose that this is not a coincidence, and I would like permission to search for a link between Wake and the Cult of the Tree. See file 1454-5326 for the full proposal. 
Emergency incident report, the Lake House. Research facility WA03 at Cauldron Lake, Washington, was compromised. Cause unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont, heads of operations at Lake House. The facility itself is reported to be damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. A longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area requiring all available resources. Investigation and containment not possible with current personnel. Emergency dispatch of response and rescue staff is requested. The investigations department has no knowledge of the lake house's recent research or projects due to the worsening communication and cooperation since HQ went dark. As a result, this report cannot determine the incident's cause without further investigation. Well, that is interesting. That doesn't help me with the shotgun. Found all the nursery rhymes. Yeah, we're still missing one doll. Two cauldron lake rhymes. Two watery rhymes. Here. Station has been attacked. What happened here? The cult taken. Wake is the priority. This isn't good. Wake better be alive. Estevez. The FBC locked Wake in the holding cells. They believe he's associated with the Dark Presence somehow. I don't know. All I know is Ilmo thought that they needed to take him out for some reason. It would be silly if he was like Scratch this whole time. But I still feel like chapter what was it? Chapter 4 of Return doesn't make sense. Otherwise he's back in the basement. <sighs> Won't be able to open the cell lock doors until the power is back on. Yes. The cell door won't open without power. FBC file linking cult activity to wake. Um, 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 um. Yeah, why do they want to kill wake? We can go there, though. It's possible Wake is connected to the cult, but if Scratch is identical to Wake, then this could refer to either of them. I mean, yeah, that's true. But they must assume... I mean, I guess that could be her immediate thought, is that if the cult is working with Scratch, they're trying to kill Alan Wake. I just feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense, or it's too on the nose. If the cult is working with Scratch. I don't feel like they are. Why would they be stopping. Trying to stop the darkness. And the Taken. If they were. I don't know. I don't know. Still can't use these. We have one more stash in Bright Falls. Really? Hmm. How have I not seen it on the map? Yay. No more lunch boxes in Bright Falls. That feels like good progress. All right, well, nothing on the board that helps us with. All right. So, yeah, what am I missing? It's got to be related to the books, right? 
I mean, we got three UFO books. Uh, sightings under lens. Can you guys? Could it be? Gosh, I don't know. I'm just completely guessing at this point. If we could assume it's part one, two, and three, maybe it could be the first letter in the titles, or it could be the first letter of each of the authors. So it's either S C T or it's Q B W. All right, S is um, what nine? Let's see, hold on. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, so yeah. I'm gonna write both down. We're gonna try both. Okay, so nine, followed by a B, which would be three. Oh wait, I'm doing it backwards. No, it'd be followed by C, which, wait. Oh, that's what I was doing. C would be three. And then T. T would be O. Or zero, rather. And then if it was the authors, it'd be Q. Which would be um, seven. Is that right? Seven. Two. And then W. What would be W? T is O. What would be that? Would that be three? That's true. That is true. Oni almost never notices when I'm behind his curtains or when I'm looking through the windows. Either or. All right, well, yeah, we're totally spitballing here. I mean, we have these two books over here, but these are the only ones that are have like an order. All right, let's go try this. I hope this is it. If this is not it, I have no idea what to do. So this would be nine, three, zero. Nope. Seven, two, three. Ah. It was the authors. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind me borrowing this. All right. Well, if you have the pump shotgun now, I want to put the um, the other shotgun away. I would definitely rather just use this. Surely it's better than this, right? Break action shotgun. White pellet spread makes it most effective at close range. Semi-automatic shotgun, good stability, high, capable of high sustained damage. Yeah, we're going to need to put this away. And we're losing space again. Losing space. Holding cells. Is that right. where they're keeping wake? Door is locked, though. Do I not have any save location here? Is there going to be one downstairs? It doesn't look like it. We are... We do not... Oh, there's the last stash in Bright Falls. Oh, that's right, it's in the basement. Yeah, because we only have three slots. Okay. Mm She do that. She's, she's you read like me, a Anderson. wizard. I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. Did his eyes just move?
I think his face looks like he was okay with this outcome. I can't see! How are you seeing right now, Saga? <laughs> what the heck? It's completely pitch black. There's another cult stash. Yeah. I have limited space. What? Uh, what? Okay. So what lines? Depends on how it defines a line. So would this be four? And we'll try it, I guess. Alright. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Too much stuff. Look at all the space. Okay. Well. Yeah, we can't go around down here without a flashlight. It is way too dark. We're not doing any sneaking. Oh, save spot. No lights on in here, though. Does it matter? Do we got a shoebox somewhere? Where is the shoebox? Oh, the shoebox. Okay, right. <laughs> we can't put anything away. Oh, gosh, what are we going to do? Look at all these this rifle ammo we've got. How am I supposed to put this shotty away? I can't. I can't put this bloody shotgun away. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I'm almost tempted to take the rifle at this point. We have so much ammo for it. I don't... <laughs> I hate... Yeah, this is crazy. These, these charms should not take up spaces. Uh, it's making me not want to look for the rhymes. Yeah, at some point, I think we're going to have to put these on, these free life ones, and go and get ourselves killed, just so we can get rid of them. <laughs> we have all these damn things. All right, we just need to start. We just need to start. Like, I'm gonna have to start using these. I'm just gonna be pulling out freaking uh, flares left and right. Just so we can start <laughs> getting rid of some of these. We just need space. We need to start just expending our ammo. Start using our heals whenever we can, I guess. Look at all the bloody healing stuff we've got, too. Speaking of which, do we only have two pads over here? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I just, I guess I don't go on the offensive enough. Yeah, I don't use enough of my stuff. Uh, 
All right. So, if we are trying to get rid of some things, should we arm ourselves with this thing? Blow up some bastards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on over here? Somebody's alive. Hold on, whoever that is. We'll help you in a second. Just, uh, I just gotta grab this loot. Don't die. Casey's I'm alive. In. Are we coming in? I want to look over here first. Shoot, man. After we saw that video, I assumed he died. Where is KZ? Where am I? Is it in this room? What? Where is he? Oh, we need the fuse. What? Like what I've done with the place. Oh, pff, hmm. what the hell? Could use a bit more glide. <sighs> Funny. Were you <laughs> Were you back there? I just didn't see you. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Dude, are you how sure are you able okay? to see down here? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Uh... What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What do you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, mm. too. I'm fighting for them all now. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You... Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on. Yeah, yeah. Casey Good was now, the Anderson. one and only one. Just remember, some things in life can't be <clears throat> fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here, I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. No oh, thanks. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. Yeah, I'll let you know when it's safe. Casey was in the Not car when anywhere. we were calling Logan. I'm pretty sure he acknowledged it at the time, too. Anderson, good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. 
Alright. We get everything down here. Oh. Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. I mean, they're fun to use, don't get me wrong. It's just like, when I, we get explosives like this, I usually try to hold off using them until I think, like, we absolutely definitely need them. But we're getting to the point where, like, I, I'm just, I'm running out of space that I'm, I feel like I'm being forced to probably try to use these. CD here. Okay, so I can heal. I mean, we can discard non charms. <laughs> if it came to it, we could. It seems silly, but yeah, we always have that option. Good night, MP. Good night. Have a good weekend. And yeah, happy Easter. We will see you on Monday. Yeah? Thank you, MP. Always a good friendly reminder. Be like MP. Hit that like button if you haven't yet already. It's very much appreciated. It's something small that goes a long way. Thank you, thank you. Quick slotted. Put that there. Put this here. Okay. Anderson, no. over here. 
Got a little cramped in that closet. Any new emails? I haven't thought to check this. Uh, nope. I think I think we've seen this. Already read all those. Is the FBC sending any help? We were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. I don't know if the FBC would even be able to send more backup. If, if Estevez started re doing reports to the FBC, but they're not, they're receiving, re well, no, I guess they could, technically. They might be receiving her reports in the past, but if they know exactly when she's sending reports, all they would have to do is make a note to send backup once 2023 rolled around. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows what happens between 2019 and 2023 at the house, though. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those Taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the Cult of the Tree. Don't let your guard down. What's at the lake house? It's a Bureau Research Facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Saga, fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck mm. out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Not Get rid that. of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker. You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. I mean, let us out. You can't stop it. None of you can. If he thinks he knows we can something, take care of this. we've been preparing for this. Why doesn't? Why don't they just try to explain it? She's she'd probably be open to listening to them at this point. Listen to anything. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff's station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time. He turned, hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, the screams began. Good night, where fox. Sleep well. I don't have a Casey profile. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared.
set up a bunch of stuff in here. I don't have the key. Why not? Okay. Well, we're definitely gonna have to come back here at some point. Open Saga. the door. Do you have it? Oh. Hi, Alan. You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Just gonna give it to him. Don't fucking give it to him. Take it! He's a fucking monster, Saga! Look at there it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Interesting. So it was Scratch all along? Yeah. Why did he act... He was acting so chill. It was Scratch. The Alan Wake in the real world. Cleo, she just woke up with Peter. Shit, shit. Yeah, shit, shit. give you that. It's Scratch. He was pretending to be awake. The plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit is trapped, oh but the gosh, light array should affect him. How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on from here. Well, turn you them on then. Three power cores first. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh crap. Let me turn on one. Am I doing this right? I don't feel like I am. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't seem like I'm doing anything. Do I need to hold it down? Oh my gosh, I do gotta hold it down. <laughs> Crap. He's too fast. Shoot, I'm gonna be slowing down then. That's not doing anything to him. Doing it. Well, I mean, a flare didn't slow him down. What else can we do? I found the lights. How do I activate them? I can turn them on from here. Oh, but you need to prime the three power cores first. Mm -hmm. The glowing yeah. FBC generator cubes. Not good. I mean, I've got flashbangs and I got the freaking explosives too. But I'm like, if the flare doesn't do anything to them, will this? How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, that worked. That worked. I only have another one of those. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Maybe the flashbang will work too. Oh my gosh, I know. Stop telling me. Can we do the other one? Or am I gonna have to stop him again? Alright, we got. Let's try some flashbangs. 
That doesn't do anything to him. Okay, it did. It did. So we were right, it was Scratch, but man, Chapter 4 really threw us off of Return. It almost seems like he was, he genuinely thought he was Alan Wake, you know? I mean, that's what it seemed like to me. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Because yeah, in Chapter 4, we take over. Uh, Alan Wake. <laughs> we take over for him, and he seems like he's genuinely wanting to help and try to find Alex Casey and all of that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Like, I don't know, but I mean, Scratch came... I don't know. I have no idea, because that's what threw me off, was chapter, Returns Chapter 4 when we played as Alan Wake made it seem like, okay, well, if it is Scratch, it doesn't seem like it could be. He was too genuine. But yeah, sure enough, it turns out to be Scratch. So I think we were right before that Alan's just simply been stuck in the dark place this whole time. So every time Saga's been like, what are you talking about? What do you mean you're trapped in the dark place? She started to think that he must have been communicating with her from the past in the dark place. But, no, nah, I think it turned out to be, yeah, Scratch showed up on the shore to trick them. And then Saga kept communicating with, with uh, the real Alan Wake in the... in the uh, dark place well that clears some things up not all things obviously there's still a bunch of stuff left on the table that's confusing obviously we're there's nothing definitive about Logan yet obviously as far as Saga's concerned Logan's alive for sure all that's been happening is that everybody else's memories have been altered. Tor has also said Logan's definitely alive. So, since they are under the impression that Anderson, Anderson's memories cannot be affected, as, as far as their family believes, Logan is still alive. So, I'm inclined to believe that is definitely the case right now. Logan is alive, but... Through... Alan's writings, he has, um, he has tried to make her out to be dead, but I don't think she can blame Alan. Well, it depends. We know that if we're going off of what we learned from Alan in the last dark place chapter, it appears as though Scratch was the was responsible for the original novel written for Return, and that Alan has been trying to help her rewrite it. So, so I guess the question is, did Scratch write her daughter being dead, or did Alan do it to, to have that be a reason for her to intervene? I don't know. We know that Alan Wake has been doing the rewrites to try to make Saga the hero of the story, but the question is, who who is trying to make her daughter be dead? I don't know. I don't know. A lot to ponder on, but we're going to go ahead and call it there. A little bit of a short stream, but it feels like a good ending spot. And then, um, yeah, we technically have started um, Alan's initiation chapter 7 in this stream. 
but uh, we'll probably go ahead and move on to that. Maybe tomorrow, if if we have the opportunity to do to get some of the collectibles we've missed with Saga, we might do that at the start before switching back to Alan. But yeah, we'll probably jump into Saturday. Oh, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's the weekend. No streams on the weekend. Um, but we'll be back on Monday. We'll be back on Monday to continue Alan Wake's uh, chapter. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna end it there. So. Uh, Pretty good, pretty good. The story is still really interesting. I can see, I mean, no matter where this story goes, I can, you can tell why it won Best Narrative at the Video Game Awards. It's it's just been, it's been told so well. It's such a unique story set up, a unique way of telling a story, a very unique narrative that I get it. I get it. I'm hoping that it'll it'll have a good ending. I'm hoping it's not going to have a super crazy cliffhanger like the first one did. I will say that now that we know that Remedy is building this universe, though, that it wouldn't be as big a deal. Alan Wake won if I had played it at the time, because obviously we didn't know that there was going to be this overall expanding connected universe that Remedy has started to do. That's you know kind of akin to the to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that ending probably would have been like, I would have been super disappointed because at the time you didn't know, like, is there going to be a sequel? Are we going to continuation of the story? It just ends, even though technically speaking, it's a, it's a, it's a good ending because Alan Wake technically saves the day, even though he ends up trapping himself in the dark place. It just felt like such a big cliffhanger. But I feel like now that we know Remedy is doing these games and doing these connected universes and knowing that we're going to get a Control sequel and you and you can almost certainly guarantee that with the success of this game, there's probably going to be another Alan Wake game too, that I, I probably wouldn't be as bummed out by a big cliffhanger in this one. But having said that, the story through as of right now is fantastic. I'm really, really liking it. I'm the gameplay mechanics have improved really, really good. Um, big, big improvement over the first one, but yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll obviously come back to all of this at the end of the game when we do a review, but, uh, thank you for tuning in guys. Thank you for watching. As said, we will be back on Monday, Monday to continue the game, continue, uh, Alan Wake's next initiation chapter. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, don't forget to hit that like if you haven't yet already. Uh, subscribe if you want to be notified of future streams. And if you are watching this at a later time, thank you for taking the time to do so. And until Monday, everybody have a fantastic weekend. For those celebrating Easter, have a happy Easter on Sunday. And uh, until then, everybody sleep well, be well, stay chill, stay relaxed. Good night and goodbye.